Hello shielded survivors, Kato Genesis here. This time I bring you a guide for Fallout 4, showing you all six unique power armor pieces you can find in the commonwealth in the vanilla game. Vanilla being without expansions. Understandably, if you are looking for the Tesla power armor pieces you can find those in the Automatron guide. The only reason this guide exists is because legendary enemies still do not drop power armor pieces, making the ones we are able to get, yes unique. Also, in order to get all of these, you must side with the Brotherhood of Steel for the endgame. Sadly, some sacrifices must be made for the best toys. We start out with the piezonucleic torso. This is found, or rather constructed, in the Cambridge Polymer Labs, and just south of the police station where you first meet up with Paladin Dan's. A quest of the same name will begin, leading you to the laboratories in the back. Basically, just find the samples around the lab and do as the terminal asks, and you will receive your power armor piece. So the piezonucleic power armor has a chance of spawning as a T-51 or T-45 variant, seemingly at random, so if you do get the T-45, it wouldn't hurt to reload your game to get the more improved T-51. The piezonucleic power armor torso grants the wearer a unique legendary effect that raises action point regeneration when they are exposed to radiation. Since it does come with a legendary star in the inventory menu, ballistic and energy resistances are increased by two points. This is useful simply for the extra bonus until of course you get the exemplar's T60 torso, but one at a time. Next is currently the only legendary raider power armor piece, a raider right arm called Tessa's Fist. Expected to be found on a gunner boss by the name of Tessa, who is normally found in the Quincy police station, but if you take part in the Kid in a Fridge quest, she will show up to fight for that instead. Similar to the piezonucleic torso, Tessa's Fist comes with a one-of-a-kind legendary effect, and that effect is quadruple durability. Since it is clearly designed for punching, it's likely to come with a Hydraulic Bracers mod, but does not come with the legendary bonus of 2 to damage resistance. Now if you prefer unarmed or you don't have any other power armor for your right arm, this is excellent to use, but not if you're looking for a paint job bonus, as Raider power armor cannot be painted. Third up is the Exemplar's T60C Torso. This is the reward after completing the quest Duty or Dishonor on the Pridwin and in the Boston Airport. Take on the quest from Captain Kells, and after you confront the individual who is stealing supplies, make sure they are convinced to turn themselves in. Otherwise, you might forfeit the Power Armor reward if you do not. The Exemplar's T60C Torso comes with the VATS Enhanced effect, like any other legendary, reducing the cost in VATS by 10% for all attacks. The name itself is a little misleading, because even though it says T60C in its name, if the rank of the equipment is changed or even acquired as A, B, D, E, F, etc., it will not change in its name unless you do it yourself. Defense values are increased by 2. Definitely a suitable replacement for the piezonucleic chest piece. Fourth, and even in order, is the Visionary's T60C helmet. After completing the quest Liberty Reprimed, or at the very least, speaking to Dr. Lee, you can get another quest from Captain Kells called A Loose End, which has you, of course, take care of a loose end. The outcome does not matter because you still get the helmet, so killing this individual or convincing them that he is not a threat will end in the same reward. This legendary and unique power armor helmet comes with the powered legendary effect. When worn, it increases your overall action point regeneration, and also has that slight increase to ballistic and energy resistance. Next is a T60 left leg called Honor. This is given to the player by Proctor Teagan, the Brotherhood Quartermaster of the Pridwin, when they are promoted to Paladin after the quest Blind Betrayal. The outcome of the quest doesn't matter so much as completing it does. Honor carries the same effect as the Visionary's Helmet, the Powered effect increasing action point refresh speed, and again having those two points of extra resistance. Power armor mods for leg pieces can further increase this AP regeneration, or play off of it by adding extra sprint speed for higher costs. The sixth and final unique piece of power armor for this guide is Vengeance. This one is rewarded to the player after their loyalty can no longer be questioned with the Brotherhood of Steel after wiping out both the Railroad and the Institute and being promoted to Sentinel. Just like Honor, after gaining the promotion, Proctor Teagan will be the one to gift you Vengeance. In a good way, of course. Vengeance comes as a T60 right leg with the punishing legendary effect reflecting 10% of incoming melee damage back to their attacker. There is still the minuscule plus two to ballistic and energy resistance, but the legendary effect as well as the neat little star next to the name is likely what you were after instead. That Survivors is all six of the unique power armor pieces in the vanilla game. And again, if you are looking for the Tesla pieces, make sure to give that automatron guy a look too. 
What kind of modifications do you add to your power armor to make it even more ridiculous? Leave it in the comments, I'd love to know. If you found this guide useful, entertaining, or a little of both, do whatever it is you see fit to show that. And if you wish for more guides like this, you know what to do. Thank you so much for watching, this is Cato Genesis, and may you water the commonwealth like you own it.